As a furniture maker and a craftsman for over 30 years, I've had to refinish and strip paint off of many different pieces of furniture or architectural moldings, doors, windows, you name it. I've probably stripped paint off of over 4,000 pieces of furniture. I can't tell you how many houses. In this video, I'm going to show you an example of how we need to strip paint today. That's 2021. It's different today than it was in the past decades. An example that I'm going to use is a recent project. It's a Richmond Capital project, a capital at the top of a column. If you'd like to see the full process, I have a link for that video at the top of our screen. Or check out more in-depth making a silicone mold video. In this project, to start out, I used a product called Citrus Strip. First, we painted the Citrus Strip on. It's a um, really nice, pleasant smell. And then in order to help prevent it from evaporating really quickly, you put saran wrap, or plastic wrap, over top of it and then let it sit overnight. This really does take a long time to sit and soak. In the past, I would use and recommend Dad's Easy Spray. The product has some chemicals that today are no longer allowed in the state of Virginia and many other states. So that product has been taken off the market and you can no longer find it. The new products that Citrus Strip puts out, they've changed their recipe and so it's a little bit less effective, but I still have this kind of work that I have to do. As you can see, the citrus strip did loosen the paint on this 100-year-old capital, but the process to remove the paint is still tedious. Time is money. There is a lot of detail work in these pieces, and I had to carefully peel back and chisel away at the fine details, taking special care that I did not damage the casting underneath in the process. The piece I'm working on is relatively small, and at this point, I'm about 45 minutes into the process. After larger pieces of paint were removed, I worked on the fine details with a toothbrush. This whole process took over an hour, and I've only been able to remove the paint from one corner piece. It was obvious I needed something much faster and more efficient, and with the stronger paint thinners no longer available, I turned to the Cobra Speed Heater. This tool uses infrared heat to warm up and remove the paint. All I had to do was plug it in, hold the heater over the paint section I wanted to remove for a few seconds, and then I was able to remove the whole piece, like a whole piece of paint, large portions of paint, from very detailed sections. It just peeled right out. This product is a little bit of an investment and maybe won't be the best choice for hobbyists. But if you need to get the job done quickly and efficiently, I highly recommend it. I was able to complete stripping the rest of the paint from this much larger piece in the same amount of time it took me to remove the paint from the other. Wow. So that's the tool to use. If you'd like to watch more videos on the Cobra Speed Heater in action, check out our Cobra Speed Heater video. Or for more in this series, we have a silicone mold and rebuilding the capital videos. As always, thank you for watching. If you'd like this and want to see more, please give us a like, subscribe, and notify.